Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how to make the Android build for mobiles. So first thing you need to remember is go to the player setting and on the very bottom create your store manager case store and you just must remember to write the password before you buy it because this can make a error on the build. So after that, the standard, you will see that LZ4 or maybe default, I will recommend for the build, make the, that one. And whenever you have the game ready and you're gonna update it to the Google Play, make that build, Apple build. It's make a smaller size of your project. Uh, that one use whenever you wanna just play test on your phone it's gonna uh, be faster to build and before that i have some struggle with the build and get the errors many times it's worth to go to the author settings and check here on the configuration notification you can set up your build you want, the minimum version, and now the AP31 is the minimum you need to have as a target. And here, on whenever I have it, it was the mono, and it's need to be changed that LT to CPP. It's gonna include that, like you can see here, a native 64 bit support and that's make me a lot of problems and here make sure you have checked that two boxes i think that one it's off and make sure you just click it and make it and after that everything should work perfect and it's worth to as well check here and make the icon for the game and set up your resolution if you want it full screen on window ed, but of course on the phone you want it full screen and here you can allow it some orientation for the auto orientation so you can portrait upside down landscape and in this case in my game i don't use that the landscape is just for the option i want to have it on the build but maybe your game when i want portrait so you can just click it here and then you can uncheck that or maybe you want to use all of them so let's make sure you check this as well and here you can check the aspect ratio but i will just leave the native one or i can create some uh, random by yourself but that native is okay on splash image you can make the screen to be seen on the loading of your game like here logo made with unity and you have some option here and generally that's it and after that the most important is this one il to cpp and arm 64 so always make sure you have that on and remember to make the password and of course update your SDK and before I create the game I just wanna go here and here I have the external tools and you have the library for the JDK, SDK, NDK and generally I will recommend to use the Unity one, but for example, if you want to get some SDK by yourself, you can go to Android Studio and you can download the Android Studio. So I have it on, so I will show you one thing how to get the SDK from the Android Studio as well. So whenever you open it, you go for the more actions and 
you have here SDK manager and like you can see I have all of them installed but let, whenever you open it you won't have all that so what you do is just tick the box and then you go for the folder you want write the folder when you want it and just download it and you can just click the apply and then it automatically download to your folder of the destination so that's the other way to have the SDK and after you download it you just need to go to the SDK here but before that it's good to copy the path so if something won't work you can just always go back to the one you use and I think I have it on here Yeah, and you just select the folder you want to use and the SDK. But if you something get wrong, just go back and pass the path you used before. So always remember to copy that. So if you have everything ready, you just go to build. If it's the release, use the Google app bundle. If no, you can go for lz4 and it's faster to build and if you want to just test it on your phone and that one hey see always give you the smaller build for your game you just go for the build and let's make some folder make the folder name the game and save and I will just wait for it to be built so let's have a look I will just speed up that because it's taking a while oh you can get that we error here and it's good to go to your user and Android and create that folder repositories cfg and most of the time it's fixed that book but on the built-in sometimes come in but it's will work in everything and of course on the scene in build don't forget to check all the scenes you wanna have inside your game and now your game is ready so next what you need to do is just go to your just change that Google apps and just create new app and add it to the production and here is that one I just working on and just already on the Google Play so you can as well go in and check hope you enjoy thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share if you're interested, check others' videos for my channel. See you next time. Cheers.